So greetings once again from South Otter Lake at Frontenac Provincial Park. I invite you to join with me in a very short So We're going to sit with our feet hip width apart, rooted into the seat of your chair. Feel the spine growing tall, growing up toward the sky through the crown of the head. We're going to begin, first of all, by sliding the leg out, heel out, and then sliding the heel back. Sliding the heel forward, sliding the heel back. Keeping a straight line from the ankle to the knee to the hip so that we're protecting the knee and tracking the knee in a safe and careful way. Sliding out. This time when we slide out onto the heel, we're going to inhale, lift, and lower, and slide back. Slide out, lift, and lower, and slide back. Once more, slide out the heel, lift, pointing the toes toward the sky, and lower, slide back. Slide the heel out, keeping that straight line, ankle, knee to hip. Lift, lower, and slide back. This time we're going to inhale the knee up, clasp around the knee with the hands, and squeeze the knee into the chest, lifting the heart, lifting the crown of the head. Slide the fingers around to the back of the thigh. Straighten the leg, pointing the toes toward the ceiling. Bend the knee back down. Take the left hand, take the leg out to the side. Change hands, cross the midline. Back, lift the leg, lower. Squeeze the knee into the chest, lifting the heart, and release. Once more on the other side, lifting the leg, squeezing into the chest, lifting the heart, sliding the hand around, lifting the toes, bending the knee, taking the knee out. And then back to the other side. Once more, toes to the sky. Bend the knee and bring the leg down. And that's a short vinyasa flow. You can repeat at your own pace. If you watched last week's class, we did this movement on our back. And this week we're preparing by doing it sitting down preparing to eventually move the whole thing up to standing. And just take a moment to relax. Now we're going to do a little bit of release in the wrists create a little bit of space in the wrist by interlacing the fingers together very gently, taking the elbows out to the side, gently pulling the fingers apart, then turning the palms to face the ground. Take your right wrist and bend your right wrist and allow the left wrist to follow along. And now actively move the left wrist up as the right wrist follows along. This is called wrist flossing. It's very good for tired wrists from keyboarding. Helps with carpal tunnel. Just gives you a nice lovely stretch in the wrists and upper arms. And bring the palms back to stillness. 
This time, turn the palms away from you and begin bending the right wrist as the left wrist follows. Feel the nice stretch that translates right up into the shoulders. You can actually feel this relaxing along the collarbones. And then bring the wrists to stillness. And this time turn the palms of the hands facing you and move through the same sequence. Keeping the arms and elbows parallel to the ground. And then release your fingers. Give your hands a little shake. Bring your palms up in front of your body again, and this time interlace the fingers, but only at the first, to the first joint. And then place your thumbs, one on top of the other. Bring your elbows in close to your body. Cup your hands as if you're holding on to a ball, a little ball of energy. Begin to take the wrists around nice gentle circle. Then reverse directions. Make sure that you're keeping your hands relaxed so that you're not squeezing your fingers tightly together. And then come back to stillness. Now take your fingers and move everything down one joint. So the opposite thumb will be on top of your finger. And begin to repeat the same pattern of rolling the wrists, keeping the elbows close to the body. And you might find this is a little bit more difficult. Try to keep the rest of your body relaxed and uninvolved. Keep your shoulders soft and relaxed. Keep your jaw relaxed. Change directions. And then release your fingers. Give them a little shake. Take your feet about hip width apart. Inhale your knee toward your chest. And take your ankle over top of your thigh. Flex your foot so that you're protecting your knee. Inhale, sit nice and tall. Place your palm on your knee not pushing or using any force, but just gently suggest to your knee that your hip open and release. This is called sweet pigeon. And you may want to release your arms. And inhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Open your fingers, lift the elbows and press palms one into the other. See if you can press with equal force. And then gently release the palms, bring the elbows down, bring the arms to the side. Inhale, place your thumbs in your hip crease and lifting up over the thumbs, hinge forward until you begin to feel your back begin to round or a bit of resistance in your spine. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And on the next inhale, come back up to sitting and release your leg. We'll go to the other side. Lift the knee. 
place the foot over the opposite thigh. Make sure that you flex your foot to protect your knee. And just very gently relax into the pose. Feel a nice opening through the groin. This time we'll take the hands out to the side in what's called cactus arms and very gently bring the palms together and then open the arms. Sitting tall, pull the shoulder blades back toward each other and around to the front. Touch the palms and once more Take the shoulder blades back towards each other and then bring your hands to center. Turn your palms down and up, down and up. Squeeze the fingers, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Give your hands a little shake your arms down by your side. Release your legs and come to sitting. Just take a moment to feel your breath and to listen to the birds. Thank you.